Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me today and wanted to know how to set up a grid work of lines like you would have for like one inch equals one foot and so on and so on. And there's several ways to do this. Uh, but probably the easiest way, we'll just do one, is I'm, I made a 12 by 12 box and there's one inch apart. So I'm going to take the a two point line, start moving, hold down the control button. And I'm gonna make that line 12 inches long. Now at this time, you need to pick what you're gonna do. And he, he mentioned indexing lines, and even though indexing lines, you can go up the property and take off the print. And I've never been to get indexing lines of print. So we need to make this line, whatever dotted line we want, and whether, in I don't know if he's an engraver or a printer. So if it's a printer, you're going to need to make it thicker than a hairline. Let's make it, let's make it eight points so you can see a little bit better. And we need to make it black. And if you're a printer, you need to make the, you know, the color, whatever you want. But then click on the line, double click on your pen tool and go right here. And you can pick a number of lines from this menu and you know, pick out one that might look good. That doesn't look too bad. You can make your own. You know, we pick on that. You can go right here and make your own. Basically, it's taking that one. And if you go like, so there's the two inch line mark. And well, I don't know for sure if that is the two inch line mark. There we go. That's like the one inch line mark. So half the line would be half the distance of that. And you could go further and you can see what it's doing and then just put add and put okay. And now you got totally different ones, but let's go back to that original line. That looks pretty good. Then we're going to go to edit and step and repeat. And we're going to offset them one inch horizontally. And we want 12 of them. Now that actually gives us 13 objects. But if you look, the box is 12 by 12. And then just take it, control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 90 degrees. Now that looks terrible because we picked our line so thick. So let's go back and pick another line that's not quite as thick. Let's go one point, go here and, and pick I like the ones that are kind of dashes. That looks pretty good. Now we'll do the same thing, hit apply, take them all, control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 90 degrees. So now you have a dash line that is one inch apart and we can test it right here with the perfect parallel dimension tool that we have one inch by one inch boxes. And you can, you can have dashes, you can have dots. Uh, the only, maybe the disadvantage in this is the, well, that looks pretty good. A lot of times you'll end up with a shorter line if you're doing uh, too long a lines. But that would print out because it's thicker than a, well, that's picking up the color of the parallel dimension tool. But you can have them any thickness you wanted. If you're a printer, you just have to go above a hairline, I think, to print. If you're an engraver, you could actually, you know, if you did this, now if you notice when you do smaller numbers, the bars get shorter. Now, if you're an engraver, you could put hairlines and actually cut it out real lightly. As a matter of fact, if you're an engraver and go like a hundred speed at 50 power and it'll zip through here instead of engraving them, it won't cut all the way through the wood. Anyway, I hope that's what he was asking, and thank you for watching.